TJD Show. All right, so the first topic that we're going to discuss today is LeBron James. He's decided to opt out of his contract with Miami, and so he's on the market now. He's going to test it. So where do you think he'll go? There's plenty of interest out there for him, but I don't know if there's the cap space or the teammates that LeBron would need to sign. There's still the option of him going back to Miami under a new contract. I don't think that's going to happen unless Wade and Bosch have a big say in that. I still don't think he's going to go back to Cleveland. I think maybe the top candidates would be going to Phil Jackson in New York or going with the Rockets to be with Howard and Harden. Well, I can agree with you on one point, mainly with Houston. I think that's a good possibility. Also, you have to take into consideration where Carmelo might go as well. Now, do they, would they, because there's different rumors out there whether he would go to L.A. or if they both, like, there's so, so many different rumors because you have both of them as, like, the two big prize creations. Yeah. Although I think that he will be going back to Cleveland because Cleveland has the cap space. And just the combo of him and Kyrie Irving I think would be just too dominant. It'd be basically, minus your big man really, now depends also what Cleveland wants to do in the draft as well because they still have the number one pick. So that's why I still think he's going to go back to Cleveland. Now, depending on what they do for a big man, it, it just all depends with them. But I do think he'll go i said the only situation in which he could go back to Cleveland is if Cleveland got Jabari Parker and if Houston got Carmelo because that would all but eliminate LeBron's chances of going to Houston. All right, so the next topic we're going to discuss is changes in the NFL, possible changes. Nothing's been decided clearly yet, but possible changes such as an 18-game schedule, expansion in the playoffs, or even the extra point rule change. So just start on the extra point rule change. Like, what's your opinion? Um, I think they should not move back the extra point. The extra point is what it is. It's the extra point. It shouldn't be that much of a challenge. I mean, most of the time, even the, that 40-yard field goal wouldn't be it, but if it's a snowy day in New England and then everyone's missing all your extra points, that's just not good for the game, in my opinion. Yeah, and I know it seems like a given, but we've seen it time and time again. We see it not not very often, but over the course of a season, at least someone misses an extra point, and it changes the game completely. John Carney, for instance, back in 2002 or early 2000s, when New Orleans pulled off that miracle lateral, they were just given to everyone everywhere. They scored in the final seconds on a complete miracle. And then John Carney misses the PAT to tie it and send it into overtime, so then they lose. So it just, it's so, there's still so many, so many things that can happen. I just, I, I leave it where it is right now. It puts too much emphasis on the kicker. Like, you could score a touchdown, you just need the extra point, then that's it. You should be able to kick it, not have it all be up to the kicker. Agreed. So that's going to wrap it up for now. We didn't get to the other ones, but if you join us again next time, then... We'll see you there. Yep.